how I customize my workbox to fit my needs. So let's start on this side. This is the left, the left door. Um, I have a lot of acrylic paints, and these are the colors I use most often. And of course, it always looks prettier if it's in a rainbow color. If you can see, it's empty. It's because I have two toddlers who like to get into my stuff, and having it empty just makes me know that they're not gonna get into anything. So if we go to this left side here, I'll show you guys some of my favorites. Um, a lot of this up, up here is kind of like overstock of my supplies. This one is just kind of like, I have a lot of molds that I use for my clay and resin. So I just have, this is just all my oversized and extra ones. And I have, if you, <laughs> if you guys see, I try to label it and it's, it's been working out pretty well for me have a lot of glitter this one has i like to do i just started getting into making miniature treats and foods so this is kind of like um the storage of all of my handmade ones so i have like really little, little tiny clay goodies in here i like to make little waffle bowls and this is like my work in progress so kind of just like stuff i have big projects that um i'm not quite done with some of them are kind of surprised, so I can't show you everything in there. This shelf I kind of opened up because I like to keep, this is my UV lamp that I like to glaze my charms in. And it's kind of oversized, so I keep it in here. These are some stars that I make that are waiting to be glazed. Beads and other supplies. There's this really cool um, storage space here, which is the kind of sh short short storages and they're very long so actually I keep a lot of the paints that I don't really use a lot or I have extra of so I'll have a lot of extra paint here and stuff like uh, craft wires and things that I keep over here so if we move on to I guess the main area this is where I like to keep all the stuff within arm's reach so I don't have to stand up and grab everything um, I guess let's start at my little display box here. This is the my projects that I'm really proud that I made. So I have um, my stars that I made uh, Pokemon inspired by. A few new project projects I just made that uh, I have um, as fan art. And then these two are really uh, special because my kids helped me make. So uh, I made this this dragon with my daughter who's two and so I made the dragon part and then she by herself put the wings on so you can see the little dragon wings on there and then this one I my son made all by himself he made a, a truck for me <laughs> so I like to keep this up here to always keep me inspired and um, to keep going this is uh, this is also like work in progress areas I like to just keep things um, so they're dust free uh, I put them in here and um, I have, they're all in different stages and I have other little containers. This is, I, I gotta show you this one, this one's cute. My, my friend actually made this box for me and these are my kids like last year so you can recognize them and I just have some goodies in there. The middle one, I have more supplies. So this is some, um, like I have super glue and craft wire in here just stuff that I want to make sure is out of reach for the kids that I can easily get to and I have my resin supplies here and some other work in progress here and this is actually like my planner my planner area so make sure I make sure I stay organized and my bullet journal watercolors and some pens that I like to use and then um, I guess I'll stay on this side on this side this side I have a whole bunch of, these are called my gold frames that I use for my projects as well. So I like to keep it close by because I have all different types. And this is actually what I, re I really like this space right here. So I have this extra um, storage container I got from the craft store. And I actually organized all my different colors of polymer clay. So um, this is really, it's great because it's in arms, arms reach here. So I guess for the drawers, I don't have any labels, so I just have these little little magnets. This one is my favorite drawer. I keep all um, my chalk pastels, which is a really uh, useful tool, and some of my favorite cutters and molds in here. It's great so I can close it and the kids can't get to these. 
yet. <laughs> so under here, I keep I like to keep my um, my LED lamp, which I like to. I really love this this LED lamp, and this one just kind of makes it extra bright for me. Should I have one more UV lamp in here? And then these are the tools that I like to use most often. So I just have my colorful pens. And these are my favorite tools that um, I always seem to go back to. So I like to have it right, right in arm's reach there. These are some extra tools that I kind of use. Um, and then behind here I have my clay roller, which is one, of, one useful tool to have. So it fits nicely in here. And I can just stick it right in there. I like to, you can roll and mix clay in there. Okay. So just quickly under, underneath here. Okay. It is just kind of like overstock of my other crafts. Because I, I like to do all different crafts. Like most crafters do. So I used to do, I was into I was into stamping, card making. I have acrylic paint. <laughs> and just other extra supplies. In here, I don't, I don't normally, I don't go in here often, but um, I do have it close by if I get the inspiration to um, do my other other crafts. On this side right here, uh, I have a lot of my extra glitters and and resin here. That is overstock of more resin. I have extra findings that I like to organize. So this is when I complete my jewelry and things. Um, I have extra here. And let's see. If, like, on this side, I have my over my oversized um, tools, so like Copic markers, um, cord, and you know alcohol and stuff that I don't want the kids to get to. And this one is actually uh, overstock of my packaging for my for my business when I want to package everything. This is all my extras, so they're right where I need them. And this is my. This one is really close to my arms reach, so this is all my open clay that um, I they're either too big to put in there or I have I don't have space in there, so this is always utilized. And I think maybe like this one. This is my packaging. So when I have to have all I have all my orders open, then I bring this out, and this is what I use to put all my orders together. I have packaging and extra stickers. And business cards are all in here. And, we, and this one is the storage of my enamel pins that I just started making. So I keep all my extras in here. And, and the further down I go is more um, stuff that I don't use all the time, but I like to have. So I have like some shells and stuff that I actually found from on our beaches. I, I think I got them in a the tray or something. And then down here is my other clays that I don't normally use. So these are Japan air dry clay, and I like to keep it just down here. So I got these actually in Japan and the craft store over here. And lastly is this side door. So this is actually an upgrade, uh, part of the upgrade kit. It actually just comes with this black felt back, but I got the upgrade and I love it because it's actually extra shelving. So this side I just have more of my inks that I've color coded, rainbow effect wise. <laughs> And then um, I just uh, put my name in, stickers here. And these are my oversized paints and, and glazes here. Again, I don't keep very much down here because my kids always come and um, help me. So that's it for my tour. I hope you guys like that. <laughs>